Now, the White House says the situation between Russia and Ukraine is extremely dangerous and that Russia could at any point launch an attack. Russia has deployed around 100,000 troops at the border uh, but denies that it's planning to invade. Our diplomatic correspondent James Landill has the latest. Russian forces training near the border with Ukraine. Just some of thousands deployed there since the autumn, raising fears in the West that Russia's planning an invasion. Fears that are dismissed by Moscow, but exacerbated by this, the arrival of Russian forces this week in Belarus, north of Ukraine, for what Moscow says are joint military exercises to repel external aggressors. But NATO's Secretary General said the risk of conflict was real. The main task now is to prevent a military attack on Ukraine. And that's exactly why uh, we send a very clear message to Russia that if they once again decide to use force against Ukraine, it will come with a high cost for Russia. Britain is sending short-range anti-tank weapons to bolster Ukraine's defences, with, Downing Street said, about 100 British troops to help with the training. Russia's estimated to have about 100,000 troops on the border with Ukraine, most of the north and the east, with fears they could try to link up with Crimea that Russia annexed in 2014. But with Russian troops now in Belarus, there are fears they could also target the capital, Kiev, from the north. But what's the West prepared to do to deter Russia? Would it abandon this new gas pipeline from Russia to Germany that could leave energy prices soaring across Europe? Well, today, Germany's foreign minister was in Moscow and said her country was ready to pay a high economic price and there could be consequences for the pipeline. Russia's foreign minister said that would be counterproductive and rejected what he called speculation about Russian aggression. We are not threatening anyone, but hear threats directed at us. We cannot accept demands related to military operations on our own territory. But the White House said the situation was extremely dangerous. We're now at a stage where Russia could at any point launch an attack on Ukraine. Uh, I would say that's more stark than we have been. For now, the US is still looking for a diplomatic solution, with the country's Secretary of State holding talks with his Russian counterpart in Geneva later this week. Meanwhile, the Russian training continues. Today, Ukraine's defence minister told the BBC any conflict would be a disaster for Europe, with a lot of refugees and a lot of blood. James Landell, BBC News.